friend of mine has asked me to fix her camper. And what's wrong with it is it's been leaking. It's been leaking up there and coming down, at least that's what we think, and coming down and rotting this floor out. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's really, it's it's soft, it's it's gone. So, the plan of attack is uh, remove the door, which I've already done. I've removed the, the, the main door and I gotta take the screen door off. Um, take the, uh, take the, the storage door off. Take the bed off. Take the cupboards out. Take them cupboards out. Take this wall off, take the floor up, take this wall off, this one right here. Because if you look right here, the whole ledger board across the whole bottom is, is rotted away. And somebody stepped on the step and it just tore loose because there's nothing there. You can see the separation here anytime you step on that. So the whole board that runs along here is just gone. So what we're going to do is we're going to repair it. We're going to see. And this is a learning experience for me too. So, uh, like most of my videos, you guys are going to learn right alongside of me what, uh, what this is going to take. I'll do the hard work and you just watch. So, um, I've already bought an uh, air nailer or air stapler. Harbor Freight, 17 bucks. Yeah, Harbor Freight. Um, staples. Um, normal, normal staples. Half inch. Um, all right, let's uh, let's dig into it. See what, see what we come up with. All right, I've removed all the screws from underneath the trim piece. You take the trim piece off and remove all the screws. And this piece won't even unscrew because the wood is so rotten. Look at that. It's just, go oh wow, look at that. There's nothing left of the screws anyway. Alright, let's uh, cut around there and see what we got. Oh, she's coming off. Oh, did I forget a screw? Yep, I did. Not my phone, not my problem. Got a screw. I want to find that in the tire. All right. There's one side. That's supposed to be welded on, by the way. 
Coming along pretty good. Getting the uh, got the bed out. Starting to get the wall out. Got the wardrobe out. Um, telling you guys, this is not easy. Um, you really got to take your time and and look for the staples and not screw anything up. I'm not going to get this out yet. Um, it's still attached up there somewhere. Not real sure how. So, oh, right there, right there. So once I pull that out of there, I should be able to get this out. All right. This is uh, you guys are gonna see it at the same time I do. I just got done cutting it. Cutting it along there, cutting it along there. The wall is already loose. So, here we go. Oh my. Oh my. Ooh, smells like a mushroom. And there is mushroom there. Right there, growing right there. Wood mold. Alright, I'm going to continue to cut along there. And see what we come up with there. I'm just uh, peeling back the... The, uh, the membrane that's underneath most campers. Uh, supposed to be waterproof. Which I'm sure it is, but it uh, holds water in as well. So, yeah, we're 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 looking real good here. This is uh, glad I didn't just stick a saw down in there. There's some pipe water pipe. But, uh, yeah, so, she's gone. So what, what the plan is, I'm going to peel that off all the way up as far as I can and then go ahead and replace this board right here and well I, I just got some, I got some more ripping in the floor to do so we'll start there I guess. Okay, it's all uh, prepared and ready for for wood. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a board up under here, glue it, screw it, and then so when the when the new plywood goes down, I got something to screw to and back in there. Um, I'm going to just make it so I slides right up in there I suppose in one big piece I I hope it works hope it fits but. <clears throat> I think it was coming in here the whole time this is awful dirty and uh, that's where most of the damage was. So, see, it's all it's all damaged up in here. But I, I can't do. It. I'm not going to replace this. Maybe I don't know. As long as I kind of got it out, I probably should. But it's all up underneath here. I don't know. I think it'll be good enough. Well, there's the second day of rebuilding the camper. Um, 
found a little more rot up in front um, but I'll show you that later but I'm going to show you how I'm what I got to do I'm going to show you my cutting operation just so you guys can cringe because this is cringe worthy table sawing it it really is something on the lens oh, there we go lack of hearing protection and the lack of eye protection yeah yeah and never pull through a table saw ever just don't do it, it it's not safe but it's how you get shit done so. I've been working all morning um, the camera died on my earlier so I just kept working so I'll show you the progress I have a, uh, here's where the two ledger boards come together, and I have a scab of about, I don't know, 12 inches in there. I just made a scab, jacked it up, put a shim in there that's going to equal the flooring, and <laughs> the flooring is going to be interesting because I'm going to need to cut it out. Well, here, I'll show you what I did with the front first. Got all that shored up and and good. But uh, what I'm going to need to do with the flooring is I'm going to need to cut it and then slide it in okay, through that through that gap here. I need to slide it in, but I'll have to. What I had to do was I had to jack this corner of the camper up because this was setting right on the ledger board and I'm like well that don't make no sense what the what's the deal with I mean you got to have the flooring under there you got to have the flooring under there so I'm like what the hell and then I started looking at this and this defect out here the camper's been the camper's pretty much been setting down and sinking down on that to bend to bend that. So I got it all jacked up where it should be. Um, I made this gusset to put right here, you know, up underneath, kind of like those gussets, except there's going to be one right here for the split in the ledger. So, yeah, that's where we're at. I'm going to It's all green treat, so if it leaks again, <laughs> it's not going to rot. All right, I've got the floor insulated. And uh, it's all ready to accept the flooring or accept the, the, the underlayment. Um, what I've had to do is uh, see the lever system in there. If you can see that, it runs it runs from there over to there down to a jack. So I can jack that up, raise the raise the wall so I can slide the plywood in underneath. So I'll, uh, I'll let you catch that on film.
Check down. I got the floor all in. I have the uh, the membrane uh, sealed with the first coat. I, the, the only thing that I could come up with, flexible sealer, and uh, sealed it there and up underneath. I don't want to touch my camera because I got some on my hands, but I. Um, up under there, um, I'll have to fill that gap with some caulk or something. And it's, it's, it's normally a gap when they put the camper together, but I'll caulk it. Um, and in here, up underneath the tub, I had to put a separate piece, you know, from here to here, and then back there. And then, you know, up underneath there, but and it's all it's all fairly sturdy now. So, well, it should be sturdy. I mean, it's just it's it's brand new. So anyway, next thing is finish ripping out the flooring, cut around that. So I can lay the new, so I can lay the new uh, linoleum in, and uh, put the walls back on, put the wardrobe back together, and windows and doors, siding. Yay! Good project. All right, what we have here is putty tape. It's exactly what it says. It's it's putty in the form of tape, one inch wide. This will go down before I put this in there and screw it down to seal it up. First, I got to clean up the old. And all the flooring is out. Ready for the new flooring to go in. Stop shaking. Ready for the new flooring to go in. Um, Got to paint that. Caulk in a corner a little bit. But uh, had some. I, I crawled underneath to do some stuff, and I was looking at the uh, the water tank, and. She had trouble with the water tank before. It, it fell because of the rotting. But you see that rail? That rail right there. That's the way it is now. 
the way they fixed it, they jacked it up. They jacked up the whole water tank. And then they just put the straps in to hold the water, aluminum straps to hold the water tank up. It wasn't even in this front strap or this front mount. The one with all the screws in it. I had to put all, I had to drop the tank, drop the straps, drop that, that mount and jack up the tank and then put that mount back where it's supposed to be. Because they just didn't do it. Charged her $200 to do it too. Anyway, it's coming into shape. Got to have the, the door welded yet. And uh, as soon as the door is welded and the floor is in, I could put the window in, or I could put the... You could put the siding on, put some more insulation in, put the window in. And uh, then go ahead and put everything back together. Got to put a transition here. We're not going to do the whole camper, obviously. So she's got some wood grain. Ooh, let me show you that. It's a wood grain. And they've got it so wrapped up. Oh, YouTube ain't going to like that. There, it's a, it's a wood grain she wanted in there, so, yeah. Well, anyway, I'm done for the day. Well, the walls are all in. Got to put the window and stuff in, but, yeah. Walls are in. I am ready for flooring. Well, we got the door ready to go in. We got the floor on. Got a bed extension on there for a, a standard mattress because camping mattresses are shorter. She wanted a standard mattress. And uh, the door frame is all welded. All ready to go on. My brother did that. He bought a wire feed aluminum welder. So, of course the window's got to go in too. Just like I do with every project I have, I get in a hurry near the end and I forget to show you guys the process of it. But hey, it's pretty straightforward and simple. I got, uh, it's all in. Um, got trim on. Got trimmer on the door. That's not the original trim, but it looks nice in here. And then trim. And that's this is like pipes and wires and stuff in here, and this weird little thing. But I think it looks pretty good. Let's back up here and get into the. Snap that closed. I do got to find a screw for that because I'm missing a screw. But yeah. not too bad from what it was. <clears throat> All I got to do is put the put the plastic door trim on. That kind of covers the screws. And a caulker on the door, and this camper project is done.